Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. It's time to open the Black Book. Aren't you going to read it? I thought that was the whole reason you dragged me out here. Yes, it is. Now be quiet. Here we go. Oh, good. Be sure to say hello to our mayor Smora for me. If you just do when I activated this. This place is even stranger than the other apocrypha visits I've had.
is up there. Is this how we came in? What chapter is this? One. So I don't think we need that. Take those soul gems. And let's see what's up here. This should be chapter three, if this makes any sense at all. Yes. All right. I don't see anything in this room. Let's go. Seeker over there. It's reading. This is going to be enjoyable. potatoes. Now, what is this? Whatever it is, it doesn't look good. <laughs> A lower ranking battle mage. Someone's a sorcerer. Okay. but what activates it? Oh, okay, you just run up them. Something's up here. Whatever that is, it doesn't look good. All right, here I go. What? There's nothing here. Oh, there's a scry over there, though. certainly took me by surprise. All right, well, I've cleared the lurker out from over there. Let's see when this... Will this come over here so I can get in it? gotten 
taken with Oriel's bow. It's a shame there weren't enough vampires that I could use it against. So all I need is to cast a spell and I get caught in it. Is this another one of those lurkers on several of them? Seekers? Hopefully this is chapter four. It is. My realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. You are dragonborn, like Mirak before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. I won't serve you, monster. I just want to defeat Mirak. 
<laughs> you will serve me, will him or not. All who seek after the secrets of the world are my servant. I know what you want. To use your power as Dragonborn, to bend the world to your will. Here, then, is the knowledge you need, although <laughs> you did not know you needed it. The second word of power. Use it to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass him. Mirak served me well, and he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields. All knowledge has its price. So, what is your price for the final word of power? Knowledge. For knowledge. The Skull have withheld the secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. And what if the Skull refuse to give up their secrets? My servant, Mirak, would have found a way to bring me what I want. So will you. If you wish to surpass him. Send the Skull Shaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. So that's it. Wait, the book, it's revealing. Some new abilities. Let's see what these are. A dragonborn Force. Your unrelenting Force Shout does more damage and may disintegrate enemies. <laughs> wow. What's the other one? Dragonborn Flame. When your fire breath shout kills an enemy, a fire worm emerges from their corpse to fight for you for 60 seconds. No, I'm not so much into a worm. What's this? Frost. Your frost breath shout encases foes in ice. I already have a frost ice form shout. So, that leads me to one conclusion. Dragonborn Force to disintegrate my enemies. <laughs> Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. You know, Naloth, you can be very annoying. I talked to Hermaeus Mora. You're still acting surprisingly sane, too. What did she have to say? 
He must have wanted something from you. He wants the secrets of the Skull in exchange for teaching me the third word. Ah, what secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Well, that gives me a lot to think about. I need to get back to tell Mithra. I have some ideas about how to locate more of these black books. Turn to the Scald Village and talk to Storn. Something isn't right, Fenari. I feel it in my bones and I smell it in the air. Baldor wouldn't leave without telling someone. I am in no mood to talk, Outsider. One of the Skull has gone missing. Who's missing? It is Baldor Ironshaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Did anything unusual happen around the time of his disappearance? Hmm. I do not remember Baldor acting strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. Where were they headed? Uh, south and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldur. The Skull would be grateful. All right. We'll look for him a little later. I think it's time I talk to Storm. Storm. So, the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. I spoke to Hermaeus Mora. He asked for the secrets of the Skull. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Mirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. He said it's the only way he'll teach me the final word of Mirak's shout. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. 
I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The tree stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. You mean, you'll give him what he wants? Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, may my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Hermamora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. Hmm. I really don't want to do this. But I hope you know what you're doing. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil, against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must, Freya. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Iraq's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. As always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. What? The skull yield up their secrets to me. Father! No, stop! I... I won't! I won't not... Dragonborn, you have offered me the gift I requested. In return, I keep my promise as befits a prince of oblivion. I give you the word of power that you need. You will be either a worthy opponent or his mm, successor, as the tides Everything of fate right? decree. Yo, don't you see this hideous being floating in the air? Father! What have you done? He's dead. Go! My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then, kill Mirak. Do not fail. Very well. All right. We will continue our pursuit of Mirak next time.